Okay, so Matt's giving a demonstration of digging into the clay. So how do you get an idea that you hit a chamber mat? The, um, when it gets really easy to push in, you'll feel it like going through a void. Bet on catching duties here. Alright, so we're going to have to enlarge this hole a lot to get at these ones. So Matt can actually still dig quite far out away from the hole and break up the clay as well um, and break through multiple chambers. Yeah, so um, just pick a random spot where we think they're going to be. Where do you think they're going to be, Ben? Here? If I dig down here? Sure. Let's go for it. move quite a significant area of earth. Some chambers. Some chambers. chambers, but once you start getting a bit further down, especially with this colony, that side. Uh, you can see a bit of trash there. Oh, yeah. There's some trash chambers there. You can see old brood. Up. There you go, there's another trash chamber. It's fresh trash too. It's not all trash. I know it is. Okay, is that a little bit of a hole underneath it that I'm seeing or is that just the way the earth is broken up? Oh, it's probably the way they get into it. So we've already found our queen so we're a little uh, Slap that. <laughs> yeah, the the risk with this is is that you very easily could um, put your <laughs> put put this through your queen. So um, when we are a bit more concerned, we do put the shovel further out from the nest, where there isn't as much risk to going straight into any chambers. But we are a little bit more nervous right now. As planned, we are continuing on with the dig, and here we are. That has been slicing into the root system. Uh, we'll come in a bit closer. <laughs> it's amazing that they don't come racing out when we are smashing into things. Um, but just right down the beginning. Where's my jar? So Right on top. Maybe we shouldn't be no, keeping no, no, on no, no. top. It, wow. I haven't knocked it over, <laughs> I haven't knocked it over while it's been on top. I'm this just is the amount of pibu that we've been having come out. Um, we have been chipping our jars into a large container. Um, these tunnels go down further and further. We have been using our technique still of trying to do it. Trying <laughs> our technique of. Um, digging around layers at a time rather than just pulling tunnels down because well, 
the tunnels are just going around the whole section so um, we're just finding them everywhere so we expect that the tunnels will go um, pretty much around the whole diameter of this circle um, and most likely down maybe about a metre hopefully too, not too much further than that um, but we're here to try to get every ant that we can find it's now pissing down rain we're kind of at our final stash we've followed all these chambers down and hit endings but we think we've kind of hit our final brood stash um, and it keeps going down any further we will keep digging but I will just kind of walk backwards a bit show you a whole lot <laughs> okay here we go hi boys so uh we're gonna finish up here i'll take a final picture of the hole once we're all done but uh with all the rain we're uh we're very keen to finish up now oh. <laughs> they're still coming out and attacking us just as we're finishing but we're at the conclusion of our dig. Um, we have followed all the tunnels down as far as they go. Um, and this is it. <laughs> oh, my last pupae. Um, so we haven't put all of our ants together. We're still, um, our other pot is elsewhere. We'll put a photo um, of them at the end of this and we'll put them in their final uh, enclosure. Um, and I'll do a little bit of a video, or get Matt to do a video of that later um, when he does that. But this is all the pupae um, that were separated. Some of the pupae is still in with the ants because they have got a nice hold of it. Um, and also all the larvae is in with the ants being taken care of. So we're gonna fill in the hole um, now. And yeah, good work guys. Yay! Okay, this is the rescued Mimesia forfocata colony from the property out at Harper's Hill. It, um, it's a very, very large colony. And the queen is nice and strong. The, um, and this is going to be darkened. So she'll move into there. The sand on the bottom of these other two tubs. Um, so the paddock that um, this colony was in, they were actually next to a stump. Um, the stump's being ripped out, and the um, the paddock's going to have bulldozers go through. They're doing um, the, was it the pasture improvement? I, I believe it it is. Anyway, they're improving the soil in the in the uh, paddock. So. This colony was going to be destroyed, so it has been rescued and uh, is now up for sale. <laughs>